All right. Okay. We're going to do this as short and as sweet as possible. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Finger reveal. Okay. The old ogre engine is like this Marowak here. Okay. He's pretty much almost completely maxed out. 1290 CP. He's got a few okay moves. His IVs are all right, but he's done. The developers had the foresight to see that he only had a little more in him, and that would have been pretty much him at max CP. So what they did is they decided to move from a Marowak that was pretty strong to this cute little Dratini over here. So, he's thinking, Chief, this Dratini is much weaker than that Marowak. And I would have to say, you're right. This Dratini is much weaker. But, look at how much more he has on his curve to grow. Not only that, he can evolve two more times. So we could go from a Dratini which I've named Pokey, because this is my Pokey Dratini, all the way up to a Dragonite, like my scale here, with a max CP of 27, 7, 9, 2,779, with Dragon Breath and Dragon Pulse, super powerful. So even though the engine right now seems weaker, it's built on a stronger Pokemon that could have a much higher CP. So if that doesn't explain it as well as it can be explained, I don't know how to explain it any better. All right, okay. I know what you're thinking. I, I know. A lot of you are feeling kind of like this duck here. Or have been struggling like this duck here to get this to work. And you want to try the new engine. You're so super excited. There was so much hype. Soon as you found out about it, you went and installed the beta and boom. Bug splat. I have a confession. I was one of those duckies myself, but I am here making this video to make things right. Okay? So let's not send this and let's dive into a little more detail about how Axolot has prioritized this update. Like that. There we go. Whew. And um, I'm going to show you their release notes. At the very, very top, they say two important things you need to keep in mind before reading further. Honestly, I should say two important things to keep in mind before you even do the update. Or not the update, it's more like a backdate or a rollback in certain ways for a lot of us. But let's clear this up the new engine is a monumental task and them even releasing it to us now I am extremely grateful I had the opportunity to play with it but it makes it a lot easier to understand why they were working on it and debugging it so long um, the main goal I feel that they had for the engine was an inclusive one and that is to get their intel 520 and 530 people on board in scrap mechanic in some way they had no option before now they have an option which i think is fantastic i'm very glad that they are working with the people who had that chipset that iris chipset and um they're going to be able to play scrap mechanic. This is fantastic. This is good news. Here's where things get a little weird. If you read the entire release notes, they they go into detail of everything that it doesn't have. All right. 
So you're looking at all the stuff that it doesn't have and it's like, how is this a move forward? It's like a big step back. And yes, it would seem that way if you've already been running Scrap Mechanic and it's been working well enough for you. But there's just way too many people who couldn't even get it to run. And that's where this new engine comes in. So you're probably wondering, Chief, I still don't understand. How is the new engine better if it doesn't support anything like this? Okay. You gotta rephrase your question. The new engine will support all this and it will do it better than the engine that we were using now. It just, they need more time to do it. And we don't lose anything, we still use the same older engine, but this is the engine that's gonna be taking over, this is where their time's gonna be going, this is going to be where they're investing to make things better. And that's going to make the general pool of players larger because it's going to make it accessible to more computers. Um, now we do our part. We support Axolot and we help them with any debugging that we can do on our end. Uh, fill out the little bug splat things, send them in. I already did one, that's why I didn't do that one at the first of the video. And. Um, we move forward guys. I think it is a good update. I don't quite get to see how it works yet, but that's fine. If any of you who are using the Intel 520 and 530 chipset are able to get the game working with the new engine, please tell us about it in the comments. I would like to know what that experience is like, because I'm pretty sure this is where it's at because they, they specifically said it here um, this post is about the test version please remember this is a test we don't recommend playing the test version unless you have one of the graphic graphics solutions specified below and that's what they meant below here I know they don't give out a lot of information guys and it could create a lot of confusion but it makes sense that they started the engine to open up a segment that just didn't even have the game available to them before. So if there were any duckies that were excluded, that weren't in here, at least they're introduced into the fold and they could play Scrap Mechanic. Still, I would like to hear from them and I want to put this out there. Uh, 520, 530 iris support. If you have those graphic solutions in your system, if you have a laptop with that that it didn't work before, try to run the beta there. I really want to know more about this, so I'm reaching out to the community, finding out who is running it and how it's running for them. All right, keep dreaming, keep building, guys. No, this is not the end. This is just the beginning, and things are going to get much, much more awesome with this game in the future. All right, this is Chief Engineer, signing off.